my name is Caterina, I come from Italy, Bologna, and I'm doing my PhD in Paris. And uh, my supervisor has a um, partnership with um, Thorsten and uh, Christoph, that, uh, which work at uh, liquid crystals. In particular, they work at um, thin uh, films of liquid crystals. So we try to create a, a thin film of a liquid crystal between uh, uh, two uh, rings uh, that uh, are separated until a um, rupture point uh, when the bubble is created. And everything happens uh, in this box. And um, these are two cameras that capture the, the film. These are fast, um, fast cameras. They take, uh, I think, 6,000 frames per second. And um, here uh, is uh, where we can uh, choose uh, in which direction we apply the electric field. And the electric field is uh, applied uh, in the middle of the rings. So when we have uh, the zero gravity moment, uh, we, um, we break the, the thin film and the bubble creates. We want to, to study this bubble under zero gravity because uh, uh, they stay more in the focus of the camera, so we have more time to observe what happens on the surface of the bubble. And also the, um, the creation of the bubble between the two rings is more symmetric, so yeah, it's better. And uh, also we don't have convection, so it's, uh, it's easier to see everything. We don't have already uh, for, for future application, but it's still a fundamental study and um, it's, it's uh, interesting because uh, uh, no one ever applied uh, the electric field. We don't really know what, uh, what to expect from the application of the electric field, but probably maybe the, the bubbles are going to move uh, in the direction in which the electric field is applied. It's interesting because uh, we can consider it a two-dimensional two uh, uh, material and uh, it can be compared to, for example, to my biological membranes. So understanding what happens on this uh, membrane, on this surface, how, how the, the fluid moves in this uh, surface, can maybe be later translated on a uh, biological issue, let's say.